school sometimes becomes a strong stress factor for both children and their parents. Children who were pleasing to everyone yesterday are now angry at adults and refuse to do their homework or attend classes. Is it always the result of a flawed character and parenting mistakes? Education experts believe this is not always the case. Whether a child is capricious or whether he or she needs real help in mastering school material can be determined with a fairly simple assessment. Experts highlight certain aspects to pay attention to. Firstly, there is the following trait. The children have good general development, will be in contact with their peers, have high enough level of intelligence and show interest in certain topics. That is, outside of the classroom walls the children are quite neurotypical. But as soon as they deal with a certain academic skill, such as writing, math, reading or maybe all together, it feels like they are underachieving. The most obvious sign is if the child is intelligent but underperforms academically. Such students were once considered to be fidgety or simply lacking in ability. Now, specialists who deal with dyslexia, dysgraphia and dyscalculia can diagnose them. It is important to realize that this is not a disease but a neurobiological peculiarity and the child's intelligence is not impaired. It's not always due to laziness or unwillingness to study that children struggle with learning. Therefore, it is parents' task to recognize this feature early on. Learning disabilities, such as dyslexia and others, are viewed as a hidden or invisible aspect of children that does not become apparent until the third grade. Then, for an additional year, parents lament their mistakes, blaming themselves for not paying attention or teachers for insufficient help. The government usually focuses on diseases and disabilities with visible features, such as autism spectrum disorder and other syndromes, and considers dyslexia to be curable. The only specialized adaptive school in Kazakhstan is in Astana. All staff members there have undergone special training in the Davis method. The main idea behind this method is to help children learn how to visualize printed symbols, numbers and phrases that are challenging for them to perceive by having them create their own mental images. That is, to develop abilities that make it easier to master the school curriculum rather than overcome dyslexia. Our school is an adaptive school, which means that it's a regular general education school that uses a certain methodology, a certain perception. Our children learn mostly with figurative perception. When reading, writing or math are really tough to learn, creative thinking is called for. Children might have excellent intellect and good development, but for some reason lag behind their peers. In this school we are preparing children to master the skill of creative thinking while learning Kazakhstan State Program of Education. All children make mistakes at school, but whereas typical children rapidly move over their mistakes, dyslexic students struggle with them for months or even years. The solution to this problem on a national scale is possible with a comprehensive approach. It is imperative that primary school instructors receive this training so they can recognize indicators of a child's condition and seek appropriate assistance. Secondly, there should be informational support that discusses dyslexia and offers some type of parental help. For example, distribution of methodical manuals. At the moment, there are no manuals on dyslexia neither in Kazakh nor in Russian languages in Kazakhstan. And the third point is, I think that each school should have at least one specialist who has received a special training on dyslexia in order to correct the curriculum. According to global statistics, from 18 to 20 percent of children have some features of dyslexic character. And the last thing that might be helpful is a professional development course to ensure the teachers are competent in this matter.